Laws of indices. Now, laws of indices are banyak rules dalam dia kan. These are the rules yang kita dah belajar before ni. Now we want to solve problems involving indices. Sekarang, how do we prove it? A kuasa 5 sama dengan 243. So, in order untuk kita dapatkan A tu, kita kena convertkan 243 tu dalam index form juga. So, kerja kita jadi lagi senang. 243 sama dengan 3 kuasa 5 kan Jadi dia akan jadi A kuasa 5 sama dengan 3 kuasa 5 Index sama 5 dengan 5 Jadi maksudnya A sama dengan 3 Given that a over n times 5x to the power of 2 times 2 over 25x to the power of 2 to the power of n minus 2 can be simplified to p over x to the power of 2, find the value of n and p. Okay, first, look at the equation. So, we need to separate this equation first. Uh, it will become a over n times 5x to the power of 2 times 2 over 25x to the power of 2 to the power of n times 25 x to the power of 2 over 2 to the power of 2. Okay, these two equation can be simplified. So, it will become a over n times 5x to the power of 2 times 2 to the power of n over 5x to the power of 2n times 5x to the power of 4 over 2 to the power of 2. A will become 2 2 to the power of 2 which is 4 will become 1 so the equation will be 2 over n times 5x to the power of 2 times 2 to the power of n over 5x to the power of 2n times 5x to the power of 4 okay these three have the same base which is 5x so 2 will be added with 4 and minus 2n so it will become 2 over n times 2 to the power of n times 5x to the power of 2 plus 4 minus 2n so it will become okay these two also have the same base so it will be 2 to the power of 1 plus n over n times 5x to the power of 2 plus 4 minus 2n which is equal to p over x to the power of 2 okay so how do we find n we can find it like this x to the power of 6 which is the total for 2 plus 4 and minus 2n equals to x to the power of negative 2. So, where does this come from? 
it comes from this equation p over x to the power of 2 so when we convert it like this it will become x to the power of negative 2 okay since this both is x so we just do it like this n minus 2n it says minus 2n equals to negative 2 so it will become negative 2n equals to negative 2 minus 6 n equals to negative 8 over negative 2 so n equals to 4 okay for p since we already get n equals to 4 we just need to substitute n equals to 4 into this equation so it will be 2 to the power of 1 plus 4 over 4 times 5 to the power of 6 minus 2 times 4 equals to p okay so it will be 2 to the power of 5 over 2 to the power of 2 times 5 to the power of negative 2 equals to p so since these two have the same base base it will be 2 to the power of 3 5 minus 2 3 times 1 over 5 to the power of 2 equals to p so when we calculate this equation in calculator p will become 8 over 25 or 0 0.32 so for this question n equals to 4 p equals to 8 over 25 or 0 0.32 Ok, soalan kita bagi 7 to the power of b minus 2 tolak 7 to the power of b over 7 to the power of b plus 3 Ok, now kita tengok kita punya basic law of indices Ada kat sini dia bagi kita bahagi which is sama dengan a to the power of m over a to the power of n sama dengan a to the power of m minus n That's our first law dalam soalan ni lah Ok, and then kita tengok kita punya base index tujuh, semua tujuh, so kita boleh proceed dengan kita punya working ok, now kita apply kita punya law, which is 7 to the power of b minus 2 naikkan yang atas tu, tolak b plus 3 lepas tu masukkan, tolak tujuh b minus b plus 3 ok, now kita boleh open bracket, 7 to the power of b minus 2, minus b minus 3, tolak 7 to the power of b minus 3 and then kita boleh solve kita punya index power tu jadi 7 to the power of negative 5 minus 7 to the power of negative 3 ok now kita dapat tengok jawapan kita tu index kita dalam bentuk negatif so kita boleh guna next law kita which is sama dengan a kalau power dia negatif m sama dengan 1 over a power of m Now baru kita simplify dia jadi 1 over 7 to the power of 5 minus 1 over 7 to the power of 3 Okay next question 9 to the power of a minus 3 plus 9 to the power of a plus 4 over 8c1 So macam biasa kita tengok kita punya law of indices balik Kat sini kita ada bahagi So kita punya law is a to the power of m over a to the power of n equals to a to the power of m minus n And then kita tengok kita punya base index 9, 9 and 81 So kita boleh tukar 81 tu jadi 9 squared So kita tulis balik kita punya jalan kira Iaitu 9 to the power of a minus 3 plus 9 to the power of a plus 4 Over 9 squared And then kita apply kita punya law Kita dapat 9 to the power of a minus 3 minus 2 Plus 9 to the power of a plus 4 minus 2 So kita boleh solve Sama dengan 9 power of A minus 5 Plus 9 to the power of A plus 2 Ok bila kita balik Kita punya index power ada yang sama Which is A So kita boleh factorizekan dia Dia keluarkan 9 to the power of A so in the bracket kita dapat 9 power of negative 5 plus 9 to the power of 2 Okay so video ni dah habis lah Jom kita recover balik Ada sikit je lagi Dalam tajuk law of disease ni Ada 6 rule Rule pertama A kuasa kosong sama dengan 1 Rule kedua A kuasa negative N sama dengan 1 over A kuasa N Rule ketiga A kuasa M Darab A kuasa N sama dengan A M tambah N Rule keempat A kuasa M bahagi A kuasa N sama dengan A M tolak N Rule kelima 
dalam bracket A kuasa M kuasa N sama dengan A M darab N dan rule ke-6 A kuasa M over N sama dengan N set A kuasa M Ok, sekian saja dari kami Apa? Ada soalan? Ha, boleh lah pergi dekat IG kita orang Ni yeah, username dia ha, Nak slide DM nak tanya boleh Nak follow boleh Nak jadi kawan pun boleh Jadi apa-apa pun, scan Terima kasih, bye-bye